My name is Marty Solomon, and I'm the president of Impact Campus Ministries and the creator and executive producer of the Bayma podcast. Today's verse of the day comes as part of a larger series on the Beatitudes, and the verse is Matthew 5, verse 5, which reads like this, Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Now, this list of Beatitudes that Jesus gives us is really an interesting case study in how God sees and measures the world according to his metrics and a kingdom economy. The world's kind of upside down. It's backwards from what we would expect. And meekness is actually a great way to experience that and understand it. What does the word meek mean? That's not a word that you and I tend to use every day. And there's a lot of ways you can explain meekness. One of my favorite ways to explain it is to talk about what it isn't. And meekness is not power. Meekness is, I don't know if it's the opposite of power, but it's definitely somebody lacking power, lacking influence, lacking uh, privilege. It's somebody on the underbelly. And so when you look at this, it says that blessed are the meek for they will inherit the earth. Well, frankly, that's not how the world tells us it's supposed to work. The world tells us that power, influence, there are certain units of of goodness that we get to cash in on and use to inherit the world. But Jesus says, actually, that's all wrong. It's all backwards. The kingdom's happiness, God's favor rests on the weak. And I find that to be unbelievably challenging to myself. My challenge to you this week, this day, maybe today or tomorrow, that you would find a way where you're being tempted to try to amass more influence and more power, that you, that you would find a way where you're you're experiencing meekness and actually find in that moment and in that space, God's favor and the kingdom's happiness. Would you find something today to embrace as being meek?